Welcome to Business Training Media. In today's video, we'll review the top 20 business etiquette tips for working professionals. So before we start, kindly like this video and subscribe to our channel for weekly updates. Let's get started. You might run your own business or be one of the hundreds of people working for the same company. You could work in a big company's office in the city, or you could work at a school in a nice neighborhood. Every employee, regardless of location, must adhere to a specific set of rules while on the clock and while representing the company elsewhere. Expectations for everything from eye contact and body language to dress and dining manners vary greatly in the business world. While many businesses have adopted a more laid-back culture, it still pays to be aware of and practice appropriate business etiquette. What is business etiquette? Business etiquette is a set of rules that employees, managers, and executives should follow to keep the company's image up and treat each other with respect. Business etiquette refers to the set of norms and behaviors that are expected in a professional business setting. It is a set of practices and ways of acting that are meant to encourage respect, professionalism, and good relationships between people and groups. Business etiquette can cover a wide range of topics, including communication, attire, punctuality, manners, and ethics. It includes both verbal and nonverbal communication, such as tone of voice, body language, and written communication. Aspects of business etiquette include dressing appropriately for the occasion, using the appropriate titles and language, being punctual for meetings, maintaining confidentiality, and avoiding discussing controversial topics. Business etiquette can vary across different industries, cultures, and organizations, so it's important to be aware of the specific norms and expectations for a given setting. When people follow proper business etiquette, they can build good relationships with coworkers, clients, and customers and make the workplace more professional and respectful. It can also help to promote productivity and collaboration by minimizing distractions and conflicts. With that said, let's review our list of the top 20 business etiquette tips that can help you succeed in your career and life. Number 20. Be on time. Punctuality is a sign of respect for other people's time. It conveys that you value the other person's schedule and prioritize their needs. Being late can give the impression that you are disorganized or unprofessional, and it can cause unnecessary stress for everyone involved. Number 19. Dress appropriately. Your appearance can have a significant impact on how others perceive you. How you dress can convey to others that you take your work seriously and care about the company's success. It's essential to be mindful of the dress code for your industry and company. Number 18. Use proper language. Clear and concise language can help avoid misunderstandings and confusion. Using slang or profanity can be seen as unprofessional and can damage your credibility. Speak in a way that conveys your message effectively and professionally. Number 17. Listen attentively. Active listening is a critical skill in any business setting. When you listen attentively, you show that you value the other person's thoughts and opinions. Listening also enables you to understand the other person's perspective better, which can help you communicate more effectively. Number 16. Use proper titles. Using proper titles shows respect for other people's positions and accomplishments. It's best to address people by their proper titles until you have been invited to use their first name. Number 15. Offer a firm handshake. A firm handshake is a sign of confidence and professionalism. It's essential to make eye contact and offer a strong but not overpowering grip. Number 14. Be mindful of personal space. Respecting the personal space of others and avoiding standing too closely to them. This may make them feel uneasy and leave a negative impression. Number 13. Follow proper email etiquette. Email is a primary mode of communication in business, and it's essential to use proper email etiquette. Use a professional tone, avoid using all caps, and make sure your emails are clear and concise. Number 12. Turn off your phone. Using your phone during meetings or conversations can be distracting and rude. It's best to turn off your phone or put it on silent to avoid interruptions. Number 11. Be respectful. Treating others with respect is critical in any business situation. Even if you disagree with someone, it's important to keep a respectful tone and not attack them personally. It means taking into account the thoughts, feelings, and needs of others, even when you don't agree with them or there is conflict. Respectful behavior includes being kind and polite, listening carefully, not talking over or interrupting others, and not using rude or insulting language. It also means being aware of differences in culture and customs and being sensitive to the needs of people from different places. Being respectful also means being aware of power dynamics in the workplace and treating everyone with the same level of consideration and respect, regardless of their position or status. This includes being mindful of the impact of your words and actions on others and taking steps to avoid causing harm or offense. 
people can build good relationships with coworkers, clients, and customers by showing respect for them. This can help create a productive and collaborative work environment. It can also help to build trust and credibility, which are important for personal and professional success. On the other hand, failing to show respect can have negative consequences, such as damaging relationships, creating conflicts, and harming one's professional reputation. In extreme cases, disrespectful behavior can lead to disciplinary action or termination of employment. Being respectful in a business setting is an essential component of professional conduct. It involves demonstrating consideration for others, being mindful of power dynamics, and avoiding behaviors that could be harmful or offensive. Number 10. Don't interrupt. Interrupting someone can be seen as disrespectful and can cause communication breakdowns. Wait until the other person has finished speaking before you respond or ask a question. Number 9. Don't gossip. Gossiping can damage your reputation and relationships with others. It's best to avoid discussing other people's personal or professional lives and instead focus on the work at hand. Gossiping in the workplace is a common behavior that can have negative consequences for both individuals and organizations. Gossiping involves discussing other people's personal or professional lives, often in a negative or judgmental way, with coworkers or colleagues. This behavior can create a toxic work environment and harm relationships with coworkers, colleagues, and supervisors. Additionally, gossip can have negative effects on a person's career. If you are known as a gossiper, your reputation will suffer and it will be difficult for others to trust you. It can also lead to disciplinary action or termination if you are found to have violated confidentiality or shared sensitive information. Additionally, gossiping can undermine productivity in the workplace. When employees are engaged in gossip, they are not focusing on their work, which can lead to missed deadlines, lower quality work, and decreased morale. This can ultimately harm the organization's bottom line and reputation. To avoid gossiping at work, it's important to keep your mind on work-related things and always act in a professional way. If you hear people talking about other people, it's best to leave the conversation or change the subject to something more useful. Finally, if you have concerns about an individual or situation, it's best to address them directly with the appropriate person or supervisor rather than discussing them with coworkers. Number 8. Use proper table manners. When eating with others, use proper table manners and avoid discussing business matters while eating. Remember to be respectful and considerate of others while dining. Number 7. Don't monopolize the conversation. Give others a chance to speak and share their thoughts. Monopolizing the conversation can be seen as rude and can cause others to tune out. Number 6. Send thank you notes. Sending a thank you note after a meeting or event shows that you appreciate the other person's time and effort. It's a simple gesture that can make a lasting impression. Number 5. Be prepared. Being prepared for meetings and presentations shows that you take your work seriously and are committed to success. Make sure you have all the necessary information and materials to make the most of your time. Number 4. Don't make assumptions. Making assumptions can lead to misunderstandings and communication breakdowns. Instead, you should ask questions and get more information to make sure you understand everything. Number 3. Avoid controversial topics. Politics and religion are two examples of topics that can divide people and cause tension at work. It's best to avoid these topics and instead focus on work-related issues. When talking about politics or religion in a business setting, it's important to think about how it might affect the situation. These topics can be controversial and cause tension or conflict at work, which can hurt professional relationships and make it hard for a team to work together. When talking about controversial topics, people may feel strongly about their points of view and be unwilling to consider other points of view. This can lead to heated arguments and conflicts that distract from the work at hand and can cause negative feelings and resentment. Also, talking about controversial subjects at work can give the impression that the person isn't fully focused on their work and might not be taking their responsibilities seriously. It can also lead to feelings of discomfort or exclusion among coworkers who do not share the same views. Most of the time, it's best to avoid talking about controversial topics at work to avoid arguments and keep a professional atmosphere. Instead, focus on work-related topics and find common ground with coworkers and colleagues. If you're in a situation where a controversial topic is being talked about, it's important to keep a respectful and neutral tone and not give your own opinion or get into a debate. In cases where a controversial topic is relevant to a work-related issue, it's important to approach the conversation in a professional and respectful manner. Use language that is open to everyone and doesn't judge, and try to find solutions and common ground. Finally, if a discussion becomes heated or uncomfortable, it's best to disengage from the conversation and move on to a more productive topic. Number 2. 
Be aware of cultural differences. Being aware of cultural differences and customs can help you communicate more effectively with people from different backgrounds. It's important to be sensitive to cultural nuances and avoid making assumptions about other people's beliefs or values. Number 1. Maintain confidentiality. Maintaining confidentiality is essential in business. It's important to respect the privacy of sensitive information and to avoid sharing it with others who are not authorized to have access to it. Breaching confidentiality can damage your reputation and the reputation of your organization. This concludes our list of 20 business etiquette tips for working professionals. This list of everyday business etiquette issues may not be talked about at your workplace, but all employees are expected to be professional at all times. Even if these tips seem like common sense, it's always good to be reminded of how to act, what to wear, and what to watch out for at work. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel for weekly videos on professional development and business growth strategies. Also check out our links to other helpful resources in the description below. Thank you for watching, and best of luck!